Hey guys, it's Misty with Pink Fairy Creations. Today, I'm going to be doing a bloom slash swipe with a blow dryer. So I'm not going to be blowing it with my mouth, and I'm not going to be swiping with a swiper tool. And my goal is I want to have some negative space with just designs on the sides. So, that's my goal. If it'll happen, we don't know. Okay, so... I'm going to start laying down my base. My base is uh, Glidden Essential Satin. And I change my base up a lot depending on what I'm uh, what I'm doing or what I'm making. If I'm making a bloom, I'm sp very specific with my pillow. If I'm doing like a swipe thing, I'm not really picky. It's kind of just whatever you prefer. Okay, now... Once that is on there, you just want to get it a nice little even le level layer. <laughs> Probably can't talk today. A nice little even. Normally I would tilt it, but this one's way too big. <laughs> Make sure you get the sides really well. And feel free to fast forward through the boring part. <laughs> Watching me spread paint. Um, and then also my colors are all mixed the exact same as the recipe for the bloom technique. So all my recipe is the same as the bloom technique, period. The only different thing I'm doing is that I'm just putting it on the canvas differently. And I'm blowing it out differently. So I haven't added anything to my pillow. It's just straight out of the can. And my colors are all mixed. Um, three parts untinted house paint to one part polycrylic or gloss varnish. Whatever you have. Whatever works best for you. Everybody's different. So I like polycrylic and um, Joe Sonia's. But you know, whatever you test them out, see which ones you like. Okay. So it's part three parts sun tinted house paint to one part gloss varnish, and then um, and then the cell activator, which is the same three parts. Australian Flood Floatro, one part um, paint, and then a little bit of glue. That's how I do my cell activator. Now I gotta get in there with my hands and get the, get the corners really good, guys, and the edges. They don't get themselves. <laughs> Another little key tip, clean off as you go, it'll save you so much time, so much time. And then it's not all hard to get off because it's all um, stuck to it because it's dried. And baby wipes are your best friend when you are into this kind of stuff. You get some baby wipes <laughs> if you don't already have some. I'm just going to barely roughly get the edges because I'm going to be tilting this so I don't have to really worry about fully covering them. I just want to get like a quick little bit on there. It helps with making the tilt flow over easier too. I want this to move quite a bit when I blow it out with the blow dryer. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of paint where I'm going to be doing the different spots. So I think I'm going to go 
like that. Now I'm thinking I want to change my mind. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking like that and like that. Let's just do it before I change my mind. So just that little bit of extra paint before I start pouring on my colors. I'll be able to see that by the time I'm putting my colors down, but hey. Okay. Alright. I am going to start with this. I'm going to start with actually gold. I love this gold. Amsterdam's gold. Light gold or whatever the, the lighter one is. Okay, so I'm going to just... Where did my line go already? <laughs> my line's already messed up. It's can no, it's fixable. All right, so that one, and I want the top and bottom to look the same. Not look the same, but be the same color. <laughs> okay, there's that one. And this one is, um, this one is uh, Amsterdam's Van Dyke Brown. I love this color. That one. And let's get a little bit of pink in there. Didn't mean to do that much, but I ain't complaining. I love pink. <laughs> some black it's a little baby one <laughs> so it's black oops see that's why I'd rather drip it on the canvas than all over the side and waste it <laughs> I'm coming. Okay, there's that one. Now I'm going to do a little bit of this blue. This is a primary elements color. It is fabulous. It's really pretty. I cannot remember the name. I am sorry. And yes, my paints are thick. Um, they're still movable though. You'll see when I blow it out. with 
color. Actually, let's get this one out. This is a uh, Josonia's. It's like a dark plum. This color is so pretty and this one is called pearl deep brown this stuff I'm telling you people this stuff is so it's like it's like it's so pretty I don't even know how to explain it like <laughs> I'm gonna try to give you a close-up but it doesn't even do it justice it is like the coolest like brownish copperish shimmery goodness ever <laughs> oh i love it it's so beautiful okay i'm gonna pour this bad boy on let's mix it up a little bit more i have a lot of bubbles in this because i just mixed it up so here it comes Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Let me grab a skewer so I can pop the bubbles. I just hope it turns out as cool as it looks right now. Just the color combination. I hope it doesn't go muddy. Okay, and yep, that's Bubble City. That's why they say to make sure paint and then let them sit overnight so that you can work with them without them doing this to you. There's so many bubbles, you just can't pop them all. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> one last one. This is a, um, it's like a light copper rose color by Decolart.
now for the most important part, <laughs> the cell activator. Okay, so I'm going to do black cell activator first, and then I'm gonna do white. I'm gonna grab it actually out of when you've had it sitting because <laughs> uh, you don't want it to be to not work which I've never not had it work but you know okay here she is to see how the dark, the black, and the white show up because I'm using both cell activators, not just one. See it sinking already? That's why we gotta be early. Sorry, I tend to uh, make noises. Okay, white one. Now I'm gonna go heavy on the white because I want it to um, be basically drowning it. <laughs> Not really, but you get what I mean. Okay, here we come with the white. Is up. Okay. There's that, and I'm going to use a little bit more white cell activator on this side, and then we will get to blowing it out. Just don't want to risk it not giving me any cells, so there we go. <laughs> okay. Can you all this stuff back? Don't get it all dirty. <laughs> Hate that when you get everything all dirty. Okay. Now I'm gonna start start with this end and then I think I'll switch it. All right. So the difference between this and a Dutch pour is I'm not blowing the colors over the white over the colors. I'm just going to blow it out.
tail definitely looks interesting. <laughs> I'm kind of digging the digging the, the the negative space. I'm loving that part. I'm just gonna give it a little bit and let it do its thing. And give it a push. Get, try to get some bubbles out. Get some more cells to come out. Ooh, I love this one. This one's looking pretty cool and busy. Ooh, there's some cells. Dang. Well, I love it when it gets me cells. I'm not hating that part, so that's pretty cool. Now, for the part where we um, tilt it, that's where it's gonna get interesting. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute longer. And then I'm gonna start putting some paint around so that it will move. So I'm just gonna start putting paint along. good on the inside it's more than outsides look at that gold shimmer oh I love gold it's funny as I can't stand gold as a color <clears throat> like on me like jewelry but man oh man I love it in art <laughs> it takes it to a whole nother level okay let's just start start stretching shall we Okay, I'm just gonna start by going this way a little bit. Kinda wanna go slow so you don't lose a lot of your lacing and disturb a bunch. So this is gonna take a minute. It's running like that. See how that part's running all fast and the rest is all slow? Holy cow. What is this monstrosity? Holy cow. Whatever that was, it is huge. Oh, it was a big piece of pigment. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. <laughs> Make sure you mix your pigments really well, guys. been filling onto the weather a little bit. So you can hear me keep sniffling, sorry. Okay. Now. Make sure the corners are good. anymore because I don't want to lose any more of that so let's start going this way boy. Yeah, that's good, this. 
This is so cool. I love the what the cells that I'm getting in there. Go back this way a little bit. It's moving quite well. Because what will happen is you, you can't always get all the paint off, but if you have a lot on there and you love the design, you have to you have to kick it off. So your best bet's always to just do minimal paint, but where you can still move it. Sorry about the shot, I just have to get this back down. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. I'm going to fill in these spots a little bit. Be patient when you're filling these spots because all it takes is one drip of paint to go on it, on the design, and, <laughs> and then it's most likely ruined. <laughs> so be very careful. Patience is a virtue. Feel free to fast forward if you want. I'm just going to keep all the filling in the corners. <clears throat> so I've got to switch this one in. And then once I fill them all in, I'm going to do one more little tilt just to make sure that it's all even. I don't want like a big blob of paint to where it's not blended because it'll dry like that. I thought I was going to be tilting it a lot more, so I have to get my sides a lot more now. <laughs> spots in between the painting you can't reach. Make sure you get those with your finger and not something big to where it's going to mess up your design.
house paint dries pretty fast, so you gotta kind of work fast. So you don't, the worst is when it looks like it is trying to dry and you go and try to lay it, like level it out and you leave a big old mark <laughs> that makes it look like you were trying to level it out. So just be careful so that you don't end up doing more damage than good. Okay. I am digging this, you guys. I hope it dries as good as it is looking. Okay. Now I'm going to do just a tiny, tiny tilt. Oh. Where's my stick? There's my stick. There's a hair. You want to pop all your bubbles too before, so that it gives it a chance to like soak in and hopefully blend instead of stick out. Okay, give it one more little tilt. Um, and then also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe if you want to, and to like if you like the video, and also leave comments if you have any questions or if you want to see a certain technique or see how I do something certain, just leave me a message. Um, you can comment below, and I will definitely do that. Try to try to do that for you. doing this. I'm in love with those cells, guys. This is like a really good technique if you if you aren't confident with blowing with your mouth or blowing with a blow dryer. You, you can do this. Just make sure you put enough uh, cell activator on there and you will totally get it. Just don't over work it with the blow dryer and you will totally fall in love with this style. Okay. So now let me torch it real quick. Go fast so you don't ruin it. It's house paint. And anyone that you can't help with the torch, I would just go through with a toothpick or a skewer and make sure you get them because if you don't, it, you'll be upset at your final product. I've done it many times. <laughs> Get a couple more bubbles real quick before I don't see them anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more. I'll be here a minute doing all these bubbles, but let's get you down for a close up. Goodness gracious, look at those, you guys. Look at those sails. Isn't that so pretty? Kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know, something really cool. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And excuse my lighting. trying to let you get the best of the details because if I turn the light off it, the details suck so okay so there we are that is the final product and stay tuned I will be right back let's turn the light off and try it I'll be right back with um, one of my tips for today's video Oh, you can still see it. Cool. 
There you are, guys. Isn't that pretty? I love the sails and the lacing. It turned out great. It's exactly what I pictured. Okay, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Okay, so here is my tip for this video. I use... Um, a lot of people know about this, but just in case people don't, I use food tents for my paintings while they dry. So... They come in all sizes and they cover your paintings so that they don't, bugs don't drop in it, flies don't drop in it, kids don't put their fingers in it, you name it. You just put it right over your thing and they, they fold down really small to where they're really easy to store too. So that is my tip for today. If you guys have any questions or you want to know anything specific, let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.